you probably encountered a bug where the player sometimes makes a tiny jump. This happens when the player jumps but the Y velocity is not zero because the player hasn't actually touched the ground yet. Let's fix this. First declare a new transform called ground check we will assign that will be the position of our check sphere. Then instead of doing some weird calculation for the check sphere position, use the ground check position. Now in the jump method, add another line of code that resets the Y velocity of our player. The reason we created a new vector 3 like this is because we cannot individually modify the x, y, or z values of velocity. That's all for the script. Back in Unity, create an empty game object called ground check as a child of the player. Place it at the bottom of the player and assign it to the ground check field in the player movement script. Now you can see that we do not have that issue anymore. Now let's add some sprinting functionality. First we need to declare some new variables. A float for our walk speed, a float for our sprint speed, and a float for our acceleration, which will be what we use as the time to lerp the move speed between the walk and sprint speed. Now let's create a new method called control speed and call it an update. In this method, we want to check if the player is holding down the sprint key, which we can just declare now and I'll set it to left shift. And we also need to check if the player is grounded. If this is true, we want to lerp our move speed to our sprint speed using mathf.lerp. Pass in move speed, then pass in what we want to lerp to, which is our sprint speed, and then pass in the time, which is the acceleration. And don't forget to multiply by time.delta time. Otherwise, we want to do the same thing, but instead of lerping the move speed to the sprint speed, we want to lerp it to the walk speed. Back in Unity, make sure everything is set in the inspector and test it out. And now our player can sprint. Notice how the move speed is changing in the inspector. And now it's time for what you all have been waiting for. Wall running. Create a new script called wall run. And add it to your player. Open it up in Visual Studio. First we need a reference to our orientation. Then we need a float for our wall distance and minimum jump height and a boolean for if there's a wall on our left. Now let's make a new method that will check if there's a wall. In the method set wall left to a physics raycast. The origin of our ray will be our transform position. The direction will be negative orientation dot right because remember we're rotating the orientation when we look around and for the max length pass in the wall distance. Don't forget to call this method an update. Next, create a new bool function that returns the opposite of a physics raycast. The ray will start at our transform position, the direction will be down, so pass in vector 3 dot down, and the max length will be our minimum jump height. This exclamation mark basically makes it so that it returns the opposite. So if this raycast is hitting something, it will return false instead of true, and vice versa. Now in update, we want to check if the player can wall run. If they can, we want to check if the wall is on the left, in which case we can add a simple debug.log for now. Back in Unity, make sure everything is set properly in the inspector. These are the values I used. And if we hit play, you can see that the console is printing the message when the player can wall run on the left. Now I have a challenge for you. The challenge is to do the same thing but for the right side. The reason I'm not showing you exactly how to do it is because I believe you'll learn something better if you try doing it yourself and apply your knowledge in a slightly different way. And because I'm lazy. If you're stuck with this, you can access the code from GitHub. If you're really stuck, I would recommend you join the Discord server as there's some really helpful people in there. And if you're not stuck, you should still join the Discord server. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing for more content like this. I would also like to thank you for all the support, cause like, what is this? I never expected to get this much recognition, so thank you. Anyways, I'm out. Have a good day.